The S3100 sonar module is Lowrance's next generation sonar module with dual channel chirp and side scan fish reveal. But at $950, do you need it? The S3100 sonar module is basically a cross between their current sonar module, the S5100, and a structure scan module we've seen from the past. Of course, with the newer transducers we can plug into it, the detail will be greater than those older structure scan modules, but it's that kind of idea. Now, I usually save the pricing for near the end of the talk on the product we're looking at, but in this case, I wanna look at it first. So you can kind of get an idea of the amount of money you're paying for the features you're getting, and you can decide if it is something you need. So the S3100 module itself comes in at 950. If we pair it up with an active imaging two-in-one transducer, which provides just down and side scan, we're looking at 1280. And if we go with the three-in-one, 1350. One of the new features we're going to get with the S3100 is side scan fish reveal, which we'll talk about here shortly. So if we pair the module up with a transducer capable of that, we're looking at $1,400. And if we go with the high wide version of that transducer, we're looking at 1450. So as you can see, depending on your needs, you're looking at anywhere between 950 and 1450 with a transducer. So for most people, I think that's going to be quite an expense. There'll certainly be a time and place for this, but it's definitely not gonna be for everybody. If you're an HDS Pro user, really the only thing you're gonna get out of this module is going to be side scan fish reveal. But if you're an HDS Live, Elite FS, or Carbon user, this module will actually bring all the active imaging HD features over to you when you add the module and one of the active imaging transducers. So for those users, it's really nice that Lowrance has brought that over. So let's take a look at the module and the features it has. So it does have two one kilowatt sonar channels that are fully independent of each other. Sonar one will give you one kilowatt traditional low, medium or high chirp and HD chirp down scan. That has the nine pin plug. Sonar port two, which is also our imaging port, has the nine pin plug as well. That'll get you all those same features, plus it'll add HD chirp side scan support. In the center, you'll see the yellow ethernet connector, which is the five pin connector we're all used to. The connector right next to it though is a new connector. It's a gigabit ethernet connector. It's got 12 pins in it. And I have a feeling this is going to be their next generation ethernet plug. This new port actually gives us two ethernet ports on the module now. And this is something I've been asking for for quite a while on all sonar modules is always have two ethernet ports because it makes networking so much easier on most boats. So Lowrance has said that there will be an ethernet adapter to take you from this new connector to a five pin network. So we'll take a look now at the performance performance screenshots that Lawrence has provided of this product. So here would be an example of an angler who is fishing offshore, who needs a high chirp transducer and a low chirp transducer to take a look at two depth ranges. So in this case, on the left-hand side of the screen, we can add a module and high chirp transducer which will allow us to target that upper water column where we may be seeing suspended fish in higher detail. Then on the right hand side of the screen, we can keep track with a low chirp transducer, again, plugged into the module that will give us the entire water column. We'll see those suspended fish, but also take a look at other depth ranges and see bottom contours. For a multi-species angler that you typically find around the Great Lakes region who may be fishing offshore for salmon and trout while down rigging, and then also moving into inland lakes to do bass fishing, this module will actually allow you to do that very easily. In sonar port one, you could plug in that one kilowatt chirp transducer to get you all the detail you need for that deeper water fishing while you're down rigging. Then in sonar port two, you could plug in an active imaging HD transducer for when you're focused more on structure fishing. Here's an example of the high frequency imaging that you're able to get with the active imaging HD on let's say an HDS Live carbon or an Elite FS unit. So this is a very detailed image. You can see out to the sides at 100 feet, we're looking at the chirp frequency in the mega frequency range right now. Throughout that entire 100 foot, we're able to see bottom objects in extreme detail as well as seeing suspended targets in the water column. Now with those suspended targets I just mentioned, that's where this new fish reveal side scan feature comes in. This is taking our sonar returns in that water column from our chirp transducer 
here and overlaying them on top of the side imaging. So if you are using your side imaging to find fish, this is definitely going to be something that will be helpful for you. However, I know there's not a lot of people who use side imaging to find fish. So if you're the HDS Pro customer who's looking to add side scan fish reveal, this is what it's going to look like. So just like the fish reveal we're used to from Lowrance taking our chirp transducer and down scan, we're now doing the same with the side scan. So here's a couple screenshots of it. We have some suspended fish arches relating to bait and the standing timber. And as you can see, it is, it is quite cluttered up, I would say, but it does provide that information for us. I think when you're fishing an area that doesn't have as much cover on the structure, in the form of anything vertical in the water column, this feature may be a little bit more useful as it'll be easier to identify fish. This module can be connected to power in the traditional ways from Lowrance where it's always on when you flip your master power switch, where it can be turned on with an external switch using the yellow wire, and then also using the MFD to control it through its power switch with that yellow trigger wire. So if you wanna look at this in more detail, just pause the video. One new thing Lowrance has added because of the multiple transducers we can be using now is ping synchronization. That's you're going to use the blue wire on the power cable. So take a look at how that's connected here. So depending on your system, you may have a dual S3100 module or an S3100 and Active Target 2, or even just the S3100 and an HDS Pro because that can accept multiple transducers as well. We'll use that blue or blue and yellow wire in conjunction with each other in order to use the ping synchronization feature. And this will help to eliminate interference on your system while you're using multiple transducers. Now, a few questions you may have regarding the S3100 I want to answer right now. What if you have an older system like an HDS Gen 3 or even older than that? Will it work? The answer is yes, it will work, but all the features may not be available. Now, if you have a Sonar Hub module and you're thinking of maybe upgrading to this, there are a few differences. This module is a little bit wider, but not as tall. And the way that the connectors attach to it, they're, they're basically up on the module a little bit more. So that'll help take up less space when you're fishing your cables through. It does use the same power cable as the Sonar Hub, and you can run it on 12 or 24 volts. Now, if you're a Structure Scan 3D user, those transducers are not compatible with this module. So if you wanted to upgrade from that system, you'd have to get the S3100 and one of the new Active Imaging HD transducers, but you will lose out on the 3D view. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the S3100? Well. I have a few and it depends for who you are. The nice thing I really like, like I mentioned, is that there are two ethernet ports on it. So this is something really nice that Lowrance did to help in networking. The other nice thing I like about it is Lowrance is actually bringing a lot of the high-end features to their mid-tier Elite FS units with this module, which is something I can't remember Lowrance ever doing in the past. However, with that, I can't see many Elite FS users needing that dual one kilowatt sonar option when they're fishing offshore. Chances are they're gonna have an HDS unit in that case, but for the few who want it, it's there. And it does also add the Active Imaging HD to get those higher frequencies on those units as well as the live and the carbon. But for the HDS Pro user, at this point, I can't really understand this module. To spend, like I say, almost $1,500 with the module and transducer to get you side scan fish reveal, for that feature alone, I really don't see it. But maybe Lowrance has future plans for this module where it will add more features and then we'll be able to justify that cost a little bit easier. So that's my take on the S3100 sonar module from Lowrance. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. So make sure you take a look at the other videos in this series where we're going to look at the active imaging HD transducers that plug into the S3100 module in more detail. Thanks for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Make sure you like the video and share it with a friend who might find this interesting.